Crafty Babes, Andrea back again to show you another completed Traveler's Notebook. This will be my fifth completed um, Traveler's Notebook that's for the personal photos of myself. I do have other completed uh, Traveler's Notebooks, but they're project specific or event specific, so I don't really count those necessarily. So this is volume number five. And so you should definitely check out my previous ones if you are new to Traveler's Notebooks. I've done uh, a couple different ones with my first three completed Traveler's Notebooks. So we are just gonna continue on. And this is going to be April-ish and May of this year and in no particular order because at this point in time, I'm just kind of going willy-nilly with my, uh, my, uh, my entries. So uh, I really love taking pictures of my nails <laughs> because I just, I feel like at some point I'm going to not do jamberry nails and I'm not going to be this bold. I don't know. What am I talking about? I'm probably always going to be this bold, but I feel like I just wanted to, uh, I feel like I like to document certain things like that. So here are the colors that I'm working with are directly from my nails. So black and white, of course, and yellow and teal and pink. So everything I'm using here is from, I think the May or April Gossamer Blue kit. And um, if you are in the know, Gossamer Blue is no longer in business. And it's super sad because uh, they were just such a good, des good designed kit club because I love all the girls that design the the kits. So everything here is pretty special. So anyway, just did some layering to kind of make that photo pop. And then I did it on a polka dotted background and threw a little bit of, I just swooshed some uh, ink from one of my stamp pads here just to add a little contrast down there. I don't know if it worked or not, but that's what we got. This is a really fun layout that I did for LE Studio. I used a bunch of different stamps from one of their stamp sets and documented some delicious ice cream that I love so much. I used very little embellishing and I didn't even use a background on my photo. I really wanted to keep things kind of centered and then just throw a little bit off to the side. So what I did here was I used the, there's this is two stamps, the ice cream and then the cone, and I separated them to put the, the words in between. And then here I just kept everything right down the center and just put little uh, dots just to kind of make it again feel like it kind of fit together and like it wasn't just so super clean, I guess. I don't know, I was like going for the messy thing. <laughs> here, oh, they think this, yeah, this is all one layout. So I did this for, wait, is there something back here? Nope, okay. I did this one for Felicity Jane and uh, yeah. Oh wait, no, you know what? It is two separate layouts here. We're gonna cover this up. This is an outfit <laughs> layout and I used some gold and navy because that's my outfit was actually not gold, but I liked the, the polka dots of this vellum that came in this kit. And it, the shirt is just hard to see what it is and it just looks like they're gold dots. So I figured I'd make that work. <laughs> and this is me documenting the deliciousness that is grapefruit. <laughs> yes, I, uh, I document a lot of food in these too. Outfits and food and nails basically is uh, the gist of these books, but I just kept it really simple, did a little bit of layering and some die cuts around the edge here that I just felt like the Willow kit <laughs> fit perfectly color-wise with uh, that photo. You may have seen the process video for this and uh, yeah, go back and look if you didn't catch it. It's called Felicity Jane Monday Life. So yeah, check that out and you can see how this page all came together. It was not that easy and because when I turn the camera on, I sometimes get a little stage fright. <laughs> Here's another uh, layout I did for Ellie's studio and I love all the blue. It's so perfect. So I knew I had to use it for this photo of this dress. I have, uh, like the journaling says, I have this top in the same pattern and I loved it so much that when I found the dress I was like I have to get it so loved it for the summer it was so perfect I was actually really sad to put it away recently I just went through my closet and took the 
the summery stuff out and stuff that I'm not going to wear uh, in the winter. And it was sad to pack that one up because I just think it's a, a lot more spring and summer than it is fall and winter. But this was a really fun page, just kind of doing some clustering and practicing that skill. I just don't feel like I'm super good at that yet, so I'm working on it. Here's some more clustering. Clearly I was in a clustering mood, <laughs> um, but I feel like I'm getting a little bit better as time goes on. So here you can see I've got some, um, I've got some word strips and I've underlined them in blue to kind of add a little bit more blue around. And then here I did some journaling with a little tab on top that you could pull out. It's not private journaling. I just felt like there wasn't room for journaling once I got all of the things down. So since I wanted to use the pocket, I just knew that I had a little bit more freedom to play with stuff and that I could stick some journaling in there. And then I did some roughing up of the edges here and kind of folded some over and, and roughed up the edges and tore some of them. So that's always something fun. It adds a little bit of dimension and interest. So that's this one. And then of course I was still in that dotting phase and I still kind of am because it just kind of feels like I'm getting messy, but not really getting messy. So it kind of works. There is also a process video um, on this page. This is another one that I did for Felicity Jane. And uh, I used a vellum piece to kind of separate a couple of the pieces because I just really wanted to use it. <laughs> I wanted to use it so badly. And this was um, kind of the only way that I could figure out how to use it because I wanted to still be able to use um, this little baggie for the journaling in here too. And so yeah, check this one out too. It's called Dear Peggy. And that's also on my YouTube channel. So you can see how this one came about, but it's all about documenting new knobs that I got for my piano. All right, oh, this is a fun one. So the Illustrated Faith Print and Pray Shop comes out with new stuff every Tuesday. Like Tuesdays are the best days. I absolutely love when the new stuff comes out and this, this is a set from Elaine Davis and I printed some on cardstock and some on sticker paper. And I printed actually all the washies went on to uh, regular cardstock and the embellishments all went on sticker paper along with the word strips, the word Fetty. So I used all the little strips of washi along the side here and then used like a, a color that matched with the hearts next to it. So it kind of felt like it just flowed into the heart. And I stuck some of the floral arrangements down here underneath this photo. This photo actually had a lot more journaling involved when I posted it online, but I, as I, like, I was really upset about the time at, during the time of this. Whereas when I come to the journaling time, to document it, I'm not as emotional about it. And so I tried to put myself back there, but didn't want to make it super negative. So I just used some of the word Fetty to kind of use words that uh, represented how I felt at the time without going super deep into um, the negativity that I was feeling at that time. Uh, so it's kind of a personal decision. Sometimes I do include all of the journaling that I feel at the moment. And sometimes I feel like it's not necessary anymore and that it was necessary for me to get that out, but not necessarily, not necessary for me to document it for the end of time. So sometimes that changes, <laughs> but this has become like my favorite kit. And this is wild calling from Elaine Davis in the print and pray shop. It's so good. Also more from that same kit. I uh, was really wanting to do like a grid kind of layout. So I just picked a bunch of stuff and I actually just, well, I started with the photo and I put the photo at an angle and then I picked all kinds of different things that would fit around it and just made them all fit like a little collage. This is one of my favorite pages. And then I, I used a little pen to kind of make some scribbly marks, sort of like the florals. Uh, yeah, hammock for one, please. I miss my hammock very much. Can't have it where we live now, but it is 
waiting for me in storage and we will be reunited soon. All right. Oh, there's also a process video on this <laughs> where you get to see me creating a layout that is documenting me creating and painting in my Bible, which is really fun. So I used the Jane kit here, which is all the pinks and blues and yellows. And oh my gosh, I had so much fun. I had so much fun with this layout. You'll have to watch it and see how it all came together because just one of those that I, I love dearly. <laughs> I love it so much, but this is the end girls. Again, I have some extra pages and the reason is because it starts to really bow in the back when you get it too full. So I just decided it would be a good stopping point because I can already see how the pages get kind of warped because I've got like some thicker embellishments in here and I just figured it didn't need, it didn't need any more. Uh, so that's where I stopped. So that my friends is a look at another finished traveler's notebook. I am really, I love being able to document in this size. And yes, I am still doing my six by eight pocket album. I did still want to keep that as an option. So I have like two formats for documenting my personal stuff and then still doing the 12 by 12 and smaller pages inside of a 12 by 12 album for my family stuff. So chugging along at the formats that I work in best and, uh, yeah, I hope you guys are too. So have fun, get something created, and thank you so much for watching. We'll talk really soon, guys. Bye.